Hi, this is uh, continuing on with the Entrepreneur Series. Uh, what prompted this video is my daughter is in a private school uh, on the other side of Switzerland. Very, very good school. Uh, she loves it, which is a great thing, I think, for a high schooler. Uh, and she's been calling and telling me that there's uh, quite a few uh, accidents on the ski slopes involving students within the last two weeks. Um, I know where people have to be. Uh, ambulanced out with helicopters and concussions and knee injuries and shoulder injuries and um, if uh, one of the things I cannot state the importance enough of is what I talked about earlier team or flash meetings uh, where you look and see your something's not going the way you think it should and so you stop the world to see who is in present time consciousness, who has been in present time consciousness, and then bring your team to present time consciousness so you can look at the fiber and see what's appropriate to do. Uh, I had a patient years ago who had a real violent snowboarding accident, and after I worked on him, we talked, and he said, you know, the whole day was surreal. He said, going into the gondola, the people, and I said, after the accident, because I presumed it was after he had concussed and um, they said he landed on his head but I got more evidence that he landed really really hard on his ass but uh, he said no before the accident and I said no well, next time you know that may be the universe trying to tell you just to pay attention at least if not just not to do that activity that day a lot of people get caught up in their lives and they think things are moving too quickly for them to to go ahead and do the team meeting uh, when we were the, our family was younger uh, Ian, my younger boy, uh, we'd be trying to rush to get someplace and uh, harried and confused and running around the house and he would say, I think it's time for one of those team meetings and it would be just, you know, you'd think, oh, I don't have time for this. And inevitably when we had one, uh, it worked out. Uh, at the school with all these injuries, I don't know if any of the people are getting intuitive hits that mm, the energetics aren't quite right. It's one of the fields that I work in, obviously, and I, uh, the energetics impact you. Uh, if you're unaware of them, that's uh, one thing. But if you're aware of them and don't know what to do about them, if you just stop your world, like a professional team that has a team meeting, a uh, timeout, you know, just take a timeout and uh, call your team together. Sometimes it can be just you. Sometimes if I'm lost in the car or something, I'll just call a team meeting, look to see what when I was in present time consciousness, what I what worked and what didn't work, and then see if things don't work out a little easier to get me unlost, as it were, to let me find where I'm going. But uh, I can't overstate the importance of team meetings. You know, they will recollect your team. They will reorganize the energy. If your team, if you're not sure where you want your team to go, but you know where it's going is not right, it's time for a team meeting. Call the people who are involved together. Uh, look at what worked, what didn't work, and then look at see what you're seeing, you know, that caused you to call a team meeting. In a business, it can be you get to the end of a loop and you cannot see the solution to the problem. Or another instance is you solved a problem uh, and it was magnificent. You want everybody to know about it. Uh, there's a whole bunch of reasons uh, besides energy skews. If you look and see what's working, what's not working, and something is not going as you think it should, it may be time for a team or a flash meeting. Thanks, www.micpeakperformance.com.